Now, authorities in Taiwan say dozens of people are still missing or stranded following the strongest earthquake to hit the island in more than 25 years. At least nine people were killed and a thousand injured when the quake struck during rush hour on Wednesday morning. Emergency crews are now working to clear roads and secure damaged buildings. The earthquake shook all of Taiwan. But the city of Hualien, on the east coast, was the worst hit. Rescuers have managed to save all residents from partially collapsed buildings and from under rubble in downed apartments. Survivors in damaged homes are being moved to temporary shelters. Now it's time to prepare for the aftershocks. I'm afraid of aftershocks, and I don't know how bad the shaking will be. And then the house is already a mess. How do you get in? There's no way to get in. Post-quake, major roads are still blocked off in other areas. Taiwan's president-elect says they're working to bring everything back to functioning. We're aiming for two-way traffic to resume by tomorrow evening. As for the water and power supply, those will be restored quickly so that people can resume normal life as soon as possible. Taiwan lies on a fault line. The island is used to quakes, but few in recent history have been this severe. More than 100 aftershocks have already been recorded. Well, let's cross over now to Taipei to talk to DW correspondent Su Tsung Han, who had to rush out of his office when the earthquake hit. Su, this is believed to be the strongest quake to hit Taiwan in 25 years. How did you experience it and, and how strong was the, was the tremor where you are? Well, Hana, it was massive. I was um, in Taipei on the ninth floor, so I had to really crawl out of the office and leave that building immediately. And to be honest, it's like uh, living in one of the disaster film. And, um, you, you know, like people here in Taiwan are very used to different kind of a big and small earthquakes. But when it happened this time, people know it's different because um, earthquake is close to land. It's shallow, make it really hard for people to even stand. So after day, um, even though like everything has been stopped, uh, restored, but it has really been a sleepless night for many people here in Taiwan. Yeah, that sounds really scary. Glad you're OK. What is the situation like now? Well, after the major earthquake happened, there have been more than 200 um, uh, aftershocks, actually. And uh, the feeling is like um, um, living on the boat for a period of time because it's constantly shaking. So you feel dizzy um, from uh, aftershocks to aftershocks. So it's really scary to many people here even till now. And um, uh, from the earthquake, we already know there are nine deaths and uh, more than a thousand people injured. All the 143 people trapped um, have been rescued. But, and uh, we know like no one is missing right now, but we start to hear a lot of sad stories. Most um, fatalities, they were caused by falling rocks while people are driving or hiking in the mountain. And we also know like the last victim, she was a high school teacher who originally escaped the half class building, but she went back in order to save her cat, but she didn't make it um, to leave that building afterwards. So it's really sad, but most people are safe right now. A horrible situation. The Hualien region is well known for being an earthquake hotspot and there are measures in place. How well did they actually hold up? Yeah, um, Hannah, you know, there is kind of a discussion start uh, going on about like how huge the earthquake was, but the damage is not as big as we imagine. It's really because Taiwan's um, uh, earthquake preparedness is uh, the, uh, one of the most uh, advanced in the world because here in Taiwan, um, street um, uh, building codes were implemented and uh, schools and workplaces constantly conduct earthquake uh, drills and mobile phones, public media issues earthquake and safety um, notice when it's needed. So all these uh, measures have significantly enhanced Taiwan's earthquake resistance and help reduce the possibility of uh, catastrophic damage and uh, casualties. Well, still nonetheless, watch out for those aftershocks and stay safe out there, Sue. DW correspondent Sue Sung Han in Taipei. Thank you so much.